It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. And some of you might be about to say, a Christmas beer in January? That's the last thing I want to talk about. But, but I want to stop you there. I want to stop you there. I have a bottle of Nerd Brewing Company's Christmas Override. It's in a 330 milliliter bottle. It's coming in a 10.5% ABV and it's been brewed with, it's an Imperial Stout, um, or sorry, an Imperial Chocolate Orange Milkshake Stout. Love this brewing company in Sweden, I really do. Um, the reason why I am reviewing it in January is um, we had that whole Brexit thing, didn't we, in the UK? Uh, I'm still waiting for parcels. Oh, that was close to my skin. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting for parcels from Australia to arrive that were sent on the 9th of December. It's now something like the 6th or 7th of January. It's been nearly a month. And this parcel um, from the lovely Hakan in Sweden took about three weeks to arrive. Um, it came, he sent it well enough, with well enough time before Christmas for me to be able to, he put to, put together a really nice Christmas calendar um, for me to review on YouTube with lovely pictures on and everything else. Um, I was able to salvage the beer, but the the box that with the the calendar was in was in a right mess and it came really late um hence me reviewing this beer now in january so um explanation to hakan as to why i've not opened the box is because it was a it was quite a bit of damage to it and i just salvaged the beers out and i review them individually so after the wax top opening, or the cutting of the wax, let's get it open. Oh, good bit of smoke on the bottle opening, beer in the glass. Oh, oh, oh look at this. Oh my goodness me, look at that. Look at that, everybody! Oh, 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 oh my goodness me! There's brewing Christmas beer, and there's brewing Christmas beer. So much of the Christmas beer in the UK is half-hearted rubbish. It really is. And what I find is when you try Christmas beer from the continent, from around Europe and Scandinavia, they make a real effort. They make a real effort to make really, really good Christmas beer. Look at that for quality. Unbelievable. Jet black beer in the glass, two to three finger tan colored head. Let's get the aroma. Oh, it's making me get up on my tippy toes. Oh, my goodness me. Oh. Chocolate orange, but spicy. Spicy chocolate orange, orange with raisins and plums and figs and prunes and spices and maybe some ginger. Ah, oh, it smells amazing. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Ooh, very vinous. Ooh. It's a really vinous beer. Lots of plum and fig and prune. Flavours really, really kicking into the beer. The mouthfeel, the mouthfeel is incredible. Stone the crows. Wow. Big, thick, rich, creamy, 
oaty, lactosey kind of mouthfeel. Fantastic body on the beer. Uh, flavour. Oh, it's a funny one. I'm not going to mess about. I'm not going to mess about. It's definitely a Christmas beer. It is definitely a Christmas beer. It's really raisiny. Really spicy. Really peppery. Fig-like. Prune-like. But then there's... It's definitely got that milkshake, that lactosey, milky, creamy, almost custardy like flavour going on. The roasted malt comes through on the back end. It's bitter. It's spicy and bitter on the back end. That's good. It is really good. It is really, really good. Um, boom, 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 boom. Contains malted barley and lactose. And yeah, it's an imperial chocolate orange milkshake stout. It's 60 IBUs. They put in the original gravity, which is 1.142. Final gravity of one. 0 0.065 EBC which is 150 EBC I think it's, it's the way the the the, the color of the beer what the what the the, the color of the beer looks like that's uh, 150 I want to say thank you to Hakan I want to say thank you I really enjoyed it I really enjoyed it um, it was a very different experience from drinking your normal run-of-the-mill lazy British Christmas beer that you know they put a real effort into that they put real effort into that beer and I am ready to rate it first of all before I rate it I just want to get my fingers out of the way let me give it a look you can see the lacing on the glass now but let me give it give it a rigorous rock back and forth Look at that. Look at that beer in the glass. Doesn't that look absolutely terrific? Look at that. Rating. Looks good. Smells good. Tastes good. Orange milkshake. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. It's like it, that was a complete mind bender of a beer, but I liked it. I got it. I totally got that beer. Stone the Crows, 10 out of 10. It's a Stone the Crows, 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.